Hi guys, I'm Silvio and this is a new tutorial, an off-season tutorial, obviously. First of all, let me apologize for my voice that is a little deeper than usual, as I'm still recovering from a seasonal cold. This said, this tutorial will focus on how to convert some battery-operated item to electric-operated item or wall plug operated item or AC adapter operated item. Anything from a Lemax slash Limax building to some tabletop attraction to something strange you have found somewhere that is battery operated and can be easily, very easily, absolutely very easy transformed from battery operated to wall plug operated. Okay, much more easily than uh, building some street lamps for your Christmas villages. Let me do some history. Uh, once upon a longer time ago, you had this kind of uh, a way to connect a building to the um, sector, to the wall plug. In this case, I can approach the camera a little bit. This is, I hope you can see, uh, an original Lamax uh, C adapter. It is 230 volts because this is from Europe, okay? And the output is 12 volts, 300 milliamps. Original, not used. This is from an old building I, uh, I got. Okay. This comes from the Netherlands. And it uses an outflow, <laughs> outflow, because this is an outflow um, bulb, because this is a bulb that uses the maximum of electricity to con <laughs> convert it in heat. This is outflow, and it is like that, and you used to, um, to, to screw it down, then you have a non-off here. I can still uh, show you how it works. Suited buildings like uh, Lucy's chocolate shop that I have here, you simply need to place it inside, etc. But this was once upon a long time ago and not with every single building. And this is very strange because the bulb actually is starting to get very hot. So out of low, out low uh, bulb there, okay? And then you went with this kind here of bulb and then use it in the same way like that and the bulbs were connected to something like that okay now they now you have me changed it like that but they were connected to, to some uh, box that contained some batteries inside in this case three the AA batteries for a total of 4.5 volts okay and it was like that, that you use it to power the buildings, etc. Or, but in this case, you were lucky because you had also um, the the choice to connect some AC adapter to them. Okay. Uh, but originally, all the um, all the um, battery-operated boxes, like this one, 
we have simply some box with inside the three uh, batteries, like in this case, one, two, three, and no switch for getting it on off, no connector for connecting some plug and transforming it into some um, battery operated, um, uh, sorry, uh, electric operated item. I keep this one because it is the only one left that I have that has, is original with the plug. And uh, this version here in particular was suited not for these bulbs, here, voila, removed. I was saying not for this kind of bulb, but for this kind of bulb that add the LED for LED side that can be like this and place it like that. It will replace the entire bulb if it breaks, and then with the plug simply getting it there. This was the uh, most recent uh, version before they switched to this version here. Uh, battery operated, yes, but also uh, plug operated. So with some AC adapter, like in my case, uh, you will need to use an AC adapter like this one and place it like that and you will operate it. So three there is 4.5 volts. It is commonly known that Lemax buildings works at 4.5 volts. And this one is simply something that used it to be as long as this one that method and then I transform it in something like that, guys. Okay, you can recognize the first part, that is the part with the L-shaped plug like that, that came from the battery box like that. In this case, this is green and this is yellow. The tip is green and yellow, but <laughs> no matter what. And then you can recognize maybe I will approach the camera that you have a junction here. I joined the original wire, the original cable to some um, wire to uh, make it longer. And then on the other side, you have a female plug. This particular version is for from the nutcracker and it is 4.5 volts. So imagine that this was there like that. Cut there, so cut the wire and then do uh, an elongation uh, uh, of the of the wire. Uh, obviously, I will not cut this one because I want to preserve it. But I will explain in details how to get from this this old version here or this newer version here to something that can easily be operated in this case with some AC adapter like that okay so no more need of uh, changing 10 times batteries during the season or you can also go this way with one simple AC adapter to eight different items. Two, four, six, two, four, six, eight. So you will observe 
space, you will preserve the, the electricity bill, because this one, instead of having eight AC adapter, you just have one AC adapter, and etc. Little long introduction, but you can also get something like this one that is something old in my collection. This is in French, Boisson Chaud, so of drinks. And don't worry, I also have the English version, a little shorter, a little and narrower than the original ways because I bought this uh, um, two years ago. This is from 2014 or 2016, I think, and they are absolutely similar. I can approach the camera. I can approach the camera, but this was converted very roughly, I know, from battery operated like this one to wall plug operated because I simply added a plug and some wire. And this is the case I was telling you how to convert something from battery operated to, um, to wall plug operated, etc. very easily. They both two LEDs inside, one there and one there from, for this one, and also this one, one and two. The back is absolutely similar. The biggest one is a little more defined, a little more everything, but this one has some, some glitter on top, this one not, but they were similar, okay? And and that when I have the, 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 the lucky to find something that can be used to replace something I already had in my collection. And another difference, this one has no uh, children uh, buying some uh, hot uh, drink. This one, this one, yes. And the scale is almost the same as Limax slash Limax. It could, normally this one has the right scale, the Christmas ornaments that you have seen in some of my uh, village. That I removed the, the wire because I want to show you how to convert it. If this one or this one are easily uh, understandable, understandable how to use them. This is operated by two AA batteries. So two AA batteries or triple A batteries. Uh, no, those are triple A batteries, so I simply need to get some triple A batteries. Okay, here I have two double, double A batteries, plus with plus, minus with minus, and then switch it on. Awful color, <laughs> this is orange, absolutely awful color. Uh, this one is 3 volts, so let me get three volts. And this one I uh, hope to have used the three volts. Yes. Yes, three volts. And those one they're a little different color, and you can see that this one has a defective LED. I kept these like that, and a different and a different color. This very yellow, and these a little more. Let me approach once again the camera a little less yellow. Okay, but those ones very yellow. 
Can I convert this one to some something that is wall plug operated? Yes, and I will show you how. Then you also get sometimes something very strange, very strange because the battery, I can show you, it is like that on, on the roof and it uses some 3 volts battery, okay? It uses some battery that is like this one. Uh, uh, CR2032 battery, 3 volts batteries. But it is very difficult to change the battery inside and because you have to get the a screwdriver, then unscrew uh, a screw there, then remove the cap, then change the battery, and then a very fade LED. Use it to go there. Okay, let's get a real. Sometimes you need to modify uh, your, your piece. Let me change my glasses. Uh, in this case, I had to get the wire from inside to outside, and I even had to. Um, to use some power tool to dig a groove in order to have the wire getting out because those are simply glued together. Let me show you quickly how to do this, this one, okay? Uh, I will use the wires that are already there on the on and on the off switch there. I will most probably need to break something. Let me have a screwdriver like that and let me try to open this. It is a simply glued with some hot glue I think but there is no other way no other clean way to get these open and try to get inside and see what you have inside, okay? Uh, you certainly have a couple of wires, okay? So I've removed this one, okay? Uh, let me show you something. If the battery is placed like this, it means that this pole here, it is the positive one, and the positive one goes connected to this pole. Here. So the green wire is the positive wire and the black wire is the negative wire. Okay, so as always with uh, DC current, so continuous current that is different from the wall uh, current that is alternate current, you need to simply remember plus and minus, positive and negative. In this case, the positive is the green. Here you have two solutions, okay? If you still want to use the on-off, the on-off switch, you simply need, okay, to connect the black wire and the green wire to some wire that goes outside of the piece. If you don't want to use the switch, you will simply need to detach the black wire that goes to the 
LEDs and the green wire that go to the LED and connect them to the power source. Okay. Obviously, you will need to do some soldering. Okay, desolder something and resolder so to something else. And the wires will go from inside to outside. Uh, let me do it. Let me desolder something. Okay, let me desolder the black and the green that goes to the batteries because in this case I want to preserve the on off switch okay and once I've uh, desoldered it I will go with some other explanation I have my uh, solder, little soldering station, the medium soldering station, as I told you in one of my previous um, um, tutorials. So let me desolder this. The black is the negative, and the negative, and the green is the positive. You simply need to get the tip of the wire, the soldering um, iron in contact with the end, voila, and in some simple seconds you will have it like that, okay? And I have detached green and the black. Green, positive, black, negative. Then, what I will need to do? Um, let me move those little things here, the little pieces of plastic that are the legs, Let's have some uh, like this because I don't want some space between this item and and the and the, the, the floor and the base of the layout good okay let me get some some cutter like that and I will refine that and then like that. Like that, a little this is nothing more than some sandpaper attached to some popsicle, as I already told you. But I want this a little further than I go this way. Okay, better. While I'm here, I am doing something strange. I will get a hole there. And you can choose whatever you want mm -hmm. to make a hole there. I will use 
an end drill like this one and I will get the hole for having the wire from inside to outside like that I can use a power head drill but I don't need to be like that then let me remove this one too and let me have I will remove the sticker and I will also go this way and have the even in the closing cap it's just a matter of going slowly so to prevent the plastic to break like this like this okay so I have a hole inside and all outside now I should use a power tool to have a groove there but as these resin using a power tool means having a cloud of dust produced because tooling some uh, resin means dust okay so I will go I will try to go get some old school and have to spend a little more time I need to have a groove like in this case okay like in this case to have the wire coming out it will take and you can see that even with a blade you have dust not as a powder dust as using a, a power tool but you can see that it is produced a good amount of powder it is produced I will check from time to time if it suits or not the wire not yet I will need to enlarge a little more This will take 30 seconds to do with a power tool. This take at least seven to eight minutes with a blade. A little more. I wanted to have the wire at the same height of the base. So the groove needs to be a little deeper 
almost there. Always be careful when using such blades, but it's not that dangerous. You only risk to cut yourself a finger and to lose a finger, but you still have 10 more, no, 9 more. <laughs> Good, like that. Now I will get some of this wire. Some of this wire, like that. Not too long because it's simply a test, but you can cut it how long you want and this kind of wire they are not absolutely both white but you have some uh, lettering on one of the wire I generally tend to use that one as uh, the positive wire but you can also use some black and white wire. You can use some red and white, red and red, red and black wire. Sorry, I tend to use white wire because it will blend perfectly with the styrofoam I'm using as base and yeah, with the snow. Now I will open them I will get the wire like that just remember that black is negative and green is positive so once marked with some letters we will go with the green wire I do this I remove part of it okay I try to do the same thing with the green wire okay like that I will get some uh, let's say some white uh, it shrinking tube let's say this is a suited yes I will get a piece of it but once again you can use the color you want like that now I will join together the positive from this wire here and the green that is the positive from the other wire I could leave this like that and it will work but instead I'm using the technique I've already shown you in a previous tutorial and get a little of soldering wire and I will get it on the tip like that then I will use it on the wire like that I want to avoid in this case that the two wire can detach one from the other in this case having soldered them together having soldered them together I will prevent them from detaching one from the other I will cut the excess of wires I will get the shrinking tube 
and get it on the junction between the two wires like that and then apply some heat like that like that okay and the white and the positive is done let me do the same thing with the negative but let me go closer like that let me go closer as you need to see a little closer black one street I will have the black one strip it I will have this one strip it too the negative from the other side strip it like that I will remove part of the copper strand simply because this wire is, is a little thinner but I can use this one okay and then I will remove the excess like that I will cut another piece of it's shrinking tube. I will get it this time inside the other way, but it doesn't matter if you go from one side or for, from the other. And then connect the negative from one side to the negative from the other side. Like that. And once again, some soldering is it there yes i will apply some some soldering like that. I will clean the tip like that. Now let's remove the excess. Let me go like that. Get the it shrinking tube and go there. I will shrink the tube with some heat. Okay, and let's before going ahead, let's check if it works. So I will strip the other side, okay, like that. The one with the lettering is the positive, so it is this one here that I will strip because the lettering is there on the outside, outside, outside. So this is the positive. The secret there is to use some plug. You have on the market some female plug and some male plug, like in this case you have a Male and male plug. Okay. This is male. This is female. And obviously they go together. Okay. 
as the AC adapters normally are male, as you can see they are male, I tend to use the female ones attached, connected to the item and then you simply go like like that okay uh, why i uh, also have some positive some female non sorry not some positive some male plug because i use them to get some some elongation, some prolongation of wires. If I wanted to double the length, I will use male with female. And those comes, and I can show you that you have negative there and positive there. It is a market, positive and negative. Those connect are simply some 5.5 uh, by 2.1 connectors that are used in CCTV uh, item apparatus, okay? So, um, closed circuit uh, cameras, okay? Um, used as uh, uh, plug to connect some cameras to the uh, old VCR recorder to the digital recorder for um, getting your houses secure. So surveillance uh, cameras, okay? Spy cameras, okay? But they are commonly used. You simply need to search for 5.5 uh, by 2.1 plug adapters, okay? Plugs. Simply, on every marketplace, mm -hmm. on Amazon, on eBay, everywhere you get them. So positive with positive. And I will get also some thin on the tip here, okay. I will go once again with the solder. Uh, I wanted to avoid the wires, the, the little wires, the strand to get separated. So I will have some, uh, I will get some soldering on this wire too. And I will cut it like that and then get it on the positive side, the marked, positive. So I will simply insert it like that and then like this, okay? But first just to remember one thing before proceeding to get the wire inside the holes and if the holes are too narrow you simply need to enlarge a little more than okay because otherwise you don't have the wire coming from inside to outside. Sorry. Let me go. Like that. So don't, I was saying, don't forget to get the wires from out inside to the outside before connecting a plug
like this. And even here, I simply need to enlarge a little more the hole and then get the wire or the wires. A little more from inside to outside. Now positive with positive as I said like that. Screw the screw. Like that. And same thing with the negative pole, with the negative wire. Just strip part of the wire, roll like this. Then once again, closer. like this and then some other soldering there i tend to get the tip to get some uh, soldering wire on the tip then once it's melted to get the melted in contact with the wire i want to cover the wire tend to get all the other at the same temperature of the tip of, of the soldering iron tip and then get some uh, thin wire, some soldering wire on top of the hot wire, like that. Enough. I will cut the excess as before and I will get this connected inside there then enlarge enough with these like that so once again inside and then screw it down and before assembling everything, let's check if it works. So two AAA battery, AAA battery, so it means three volts. It is set to do three volts. Let me use, and the switch is working. Off, on, off, on, off, on. Okay. So it works. If you don't want to use the on off switch, you simply need to cut the wires there, the green and the black there, and to join there. Okay? Instead of using, because you see that the positive is directly connected to the positive from the AC adapter. But the black here is not connected to the black that goes to the LEDs. It goes to the switch. A switch is simple a way of cutting the power from reaching the LED. And you don't need to have uh, both wires um, connected to a switch, simply one. It's like opening the circuit and closing the circuit, so just one. But if you don't want to use the switch, you cut there the green, you cut there the black, and those two wires go connected to green and black, like that. Now, you simply need to get 
this. Like that. And obviously also cut part of the container. Let me mark where. I will mark it there and there because I need also to have a space there. In this case I will cut this like that. Maybe some better cutter. One, two, remove part of it. Like that and like that. Now I have some more space like that to have the wire like that. Let me replace the cover that goes there like that and I will need to do the same thing here there and there to get the wire, but in this case it is thinner than obviously like this. Okay, and then the wires will go not completely cut like I will get some hot glue even if, if I hate hot glue because it is a messy type of glue. So instead I will not use some, some glue because I don't want it to be messy. Okay, let me show you a different way. Inside this little glass, this paper glass, I have some of these water washable photo polymer resin. As you can see, it's nothing more than the resin I use to 3D print my figurines. That is a resin very clean that can cure fast with some UV lamp. So, let me get some some of the resin in this corner like that and in this corner like that. 
let me get a UV lamp that is a standard UV lamp. UV lamp switch it on and then apply for some seconds the UV lamp to the resin okay simple like that some seconds the resin is there and and it is already connected I cannot remove yes if I apply some force I will remove the cover once again but it is glued together it doesn't come out let me do the same thing with this other corner here and it is very thin okay so it don't makes a mess oops mess sorry like that i will apply for some seconds the uv lamp like that and the cure it same thing with the wire I will go with some resin there on the base then the wire then some of the resin on top like that then once again the UV lamp done cured yes I will do another round to be sure and to get everything at the same eight and there and there connected the wire is there it is clean okay and this goes there yes switch that has some eight but i don't care about the switch it will be uh, it will be let's say i will cut part of the switch two it is usable already still usable i will there and then let me get the power there it is on off now it is on on it is almost flat it is flat like that and i used some of this resin and it's done uh, it is off, on, off, on. And this is a way. Okay, another way. Let bring back. Let's bring back um, Lucy's chocolate shop. If you have the old version of the bulb you simply need to do what to cut the original wire and you can see that the original wire ended here and this one was connected to something like that okay you can see it because this is one wire with inside the two wires and here i use a flat wire with that can be separated in two different wires I simply cut the original wire that came from the battery box and then with the same technique you have seen I've attached a female plug to some wires I've identified the negative and the positive here red is positive and the only difficulty is, is to identify which of the two wires that comes from this 
while you're here is positive, but you simply need to check. If you get positive here and negative here and it doesn't work, you simply need to switch positive with negative that, go that goes to the AC adapter. Okay? <laughs> you have simply two solutions. It's not an infinite solution. Okay? This is what you have with the not too old, but uh, some old. Then you have the new bulbs there. The new bulbs there are connected to the, to the building like that, with on and off. I tend to let them to on. And then you have... And then you have... the L-shaped plug, 90 degrees plug, here, that goes inside, and here you have the three batteries, one, two, three, and no switch, because the switch is here on the bulb, okay? You place three batteries, and it will get on. And if you want to transform this from battery operated to wall plug operated, is it possible? Yes, obviously it is possible. To solution, you break this one, you break this one, and you connect the positive with the positive and the negative with the negative in the same way. But in this case, you will need to break the box, the battery box. That is useless. That is useless because it's simply something big to hide that you don't want anymore so and cut obviously here and you can connect the positive to the negative okay simply need to cut there and it's what I tend to use as you can see you cut and you go you cut but if you don't want to cut the wires that comes from the battery box on the market, obviously the market offers everything you have. They are not white because white are very difficult to find, but you already have wires part of the wires that are positive and negative as you can see you already have a positive and a negative and generally they tend to use uh, red as positive and black as negative or if you have some other wires of other types you can use the, the color one that is no white or no black as positive. I can show you something. Voila. Like in this case, they are the same. But in this case, the plug is, is black and not yellow, but I don't care. And in this case, you don't have red and black, but you have pink and the black. The black is the negative and the pink is the positive okay but they are the same the same thing okay so it is very easy in this case you get your 90 degrees plug there okay it fits you simply need to go from the positive and the negative something else okay in this case, once again, it is very simple. Maybe I will do this once again. 
in this time I will use a longer wire because certainly I will use the wires with some of the new buildings I'm still working on for the new season that is almost there guys I will get usually a good a good wire length that will allow me to get from the middle towards the outside of my plywood easily but this year I have I will I will not telling you what I was <laughs> at least no I will not I will not reveal anything right now let me say this is enough good okay once again I have positive and negative I will then let me switch off the UV lamp there once again positive is the one marked with some lettering once again it is the outside I will go and strip the wire done the red one is the positive I will try to use this lamp here and the strip the wire get the positive the one marked with the ring there and the negative obviously the is the opposite one and screw back everything I will need to switch the AC adapter to 4.5 volts because this building is working at 4.5 volts and replug the AC adapter and then get the wire I just made and connect it there and Lucy's get a switch it on as you can see and now it is switched off but I generally leave them switched on and this is a beautiful building guys very Victorian building so this is another way to get obviously if you don't want to use the octopus the splitter you can go like this directly and it will work the same way okay and it will work the same way uh, I love the splitter or the octopus cable as I and I call it because it allowed me to use just one AC adapter but I've made another tutorial about AC adapters so you have seen that if you like black you paint it white obviously but I don't care as this part will be hidden behind the, the building so I don't care if it is black or white. The part that needed to be added in the styrofoam that needed to be white. If you use foam, otherwise use whatever cable you want, whatever wire you want. Okay, so Lucy. Lucy, 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 Lucy goes there. Now, this other, let's imagine you bought this some time ago, okay? Let me check inside. Where is the smallest screwdriver in the history? Is there? 
let me go and it is not easily done guys to remove you need to remove the screw in order to check if you have the battery inside let's say it is almost impossible to change the battery as you have just seen okay then you also need to remove the cap and to change in order to change the battery so useless okay and they placed it like that and as I told you it uses some of these CR2032 batteries inside I don't care let me explain why. In this case, you can go wild. You can go wild, and I will go wild, adding myself an LED. An LED, okay? Let me get an LED. Hope to have taken some LEDs, yes. Let me go with an LED. A 3 volt LED like this one yes 3 volt LED okay. not that powerful but I don't need it to be to this to be so much powerful I just need it to get the work done then as this very thin I want the wire to not be visible so I will use some wire that is very thin that is used by uh, in train scale models train scale dioramas 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 uh, Allow me to call them, you can call them as you want. In this case, I have a black and a white wire. I don't need to go very long with these wires. And it's the wires I'm using these days to complete some of the building we'll be using in my next, in my 2024. Christmas Village, I 3D printed them. Let's say it is enough like that. And let's say I want to use these LEDs like it is like that, no matter what, okay? So I will get the wires stripped. It is a very thin wire, but it is used absolutely frequently. As always, the long leg of the wire is the positive one, okay? And I will cut the longest one before the shortest one. This is some standard five millimeters round LED. Once again, there, once again, some, some soldering is needed on the tip. Let's have some uh, soldering on the LED, like that, okay. Then let's have the positive that I will use as white and in this case to strip you simply need to use your fingernails. I will strip both of them this time. Okay, like that. I will get both of them with some soldering quite 
quickly. I will cut the excess of wires I will get some heat shrinking tube and I will use just on one off then because I don't need to isolate both of them heat shrinking there like that then solder the positive with the positive and the negative with the negative. One, two, three, four. Let's clean the tip. Let's have some soldering on the and go as you have seen me doing in my last tutorial quickly like that positive let's cut to the negative leg like that Let's have some soldering on the LED and like that. And then let's solder dot negative with the negative. One second and it is done. Let's have the little shrink tube there, then there. Now, the most difficult part will be to get the LED there connected. Okay, it will not be easy to use some resin there. Okay, it will not be very easily and done. So what I tend to do, I tend to use some PVC pipe like that. Okay, I will use to cut A little piece of PVC pipe. It is some uh, pipe that can get like that, okay. and then just for support for the gluing together, like that. Okay, then I will use some super glue. Here I have some dense super glue, some gel super glue. This is something I have only in Europe, so maybe I will get you the link. But this is from some uh, German brand. A little of glue there, and then the glue gets there on plastic on the PVC and quickly I will get it okay Okay, 
Now. Now, now, now. I will hide the wire there with the resin and then connect the rest. Let me try. this positive and negative once again some wire voila before getting the resin let's check once again, I will need to switch to 3 volt because I used a 3 volt LED, 3 volt switched. Let's check if it works. Voila, LED works. And the LED works, as you can see. Okay, the LED works. So let's remove this one. I will switch on the UV lamp. Then let me remove some excess of the hot glue I had there before. This is where the old wire was. Okay. And I will use with this thin, very thin wire. The resin I used it before. I only need just a few seconds. And the resin does, as you can see, much clean work. And you can paint the resin if you want. Okay, Voila. Last part. And the wire goes towards the back as it will not be visible. like that some more seconds good 
let's use a little more resin in there like that good clean job because honestly this resin like that it is much cleaner almost invisible than the use of some uh, hot glue or also much cleaner than using some um, super glue that has some time of curing and here you have if you have and you are disturbed from these uh, resin that has cured you simply need to use uh, some paint on top of it and it will be hided by the paint now switch off the uv lamp and let's get the octopus let's connect and voila it works and you have the led inside not too bright but enough powerful to get this uh, illuminated in the plane at night okay in the dark voila even this is done let me introduce quickly two more things so let's have this one removed from the scene like that uh, let me clean no I will need to use the super glue let's have some drum rolling guys right now I will show you a building, a preview of the small building like this one, guys. That will be one of the buildings that I will use in my new village, my 2024 village. It is it is a small pillar market stall and it is a new design this took me four hours and seven minutes and 45 grams of uh, of to print at uh, almost best quality four hours and 37 minutes i don't know if i have market for the roof no i haven't and and it is the only thing I will reveal for the new village because this is not impressive as the buildings as the other building and this is very small so I have some shells some shell some shelf there and some two with some props with some bottles with some cans uh, some crates some barrels there and other crates outside and this will be part of a section I want and this is the new design for this 2024 season and still need to be painted it is not freshly printed 3d printed but some time ago I 3d printed this it still needed to be cleaned but we are not here to show you to show you the cleaning process etc or the painting or the priming it still needs to, to be primed I made this modular because I want this to be as usable as possible but even this market store and if you have a market store some things you 3d print by yourself it needs to be lighted it needs to be lighted I want this to be lighted and right now 
it is not possible for it to be lighted because it missed some lighting. So even in this case with the same technique and I will use only the last technique, the last part, so I will not connect these to some uh, big wires but I will use these connected to some LED instead, just to some LED. The wire, and in this case, as this is a small building, I will use one of these very, very small, but very, very bright LEDs that they are, I've used them massively in my um, 2024 Christmas Village up till now. I've simply marked here no more than 311 um, Celsius degrees, otherwise these will burn the plastic that is composing the LED. It is a very bright, very small, 1.8 centimeters. I can show you the difference with an LED. Those ones are not very bright but natural light but if used uh, both are very intense and this one is pure white uh, nine uh, almost nine thousand Kelvin so very cold white the ones I've used for the other um, for the ornaments uh, market stall it is less powerful but if this one is five millimeters round, this one is just 1.8 millimeters, guys. It is very, very, very thin. Look at the difference in the dimensions that you have here, okay? Very, very thin tip, okay? Uh, 1.8 millimeters. And I want this to be used with the same technique there. But I can use this very quickly like that, okay? And glue it there and use it. So you can use the same technique. This will be very difficult to solder because it's very, very, very small, but I've already used it many times in my new, and I stopped there. <laughs> in my new what? In my new, for some buildings, I... Good. Good, good, good. Some glue. There. Okay, then here it is easily done. You simply need to pour some, and that's why I've used this design, because if you use something that is almost 45 degrees, or from each side you get almost 90 degrees, and this will be glued there very easily and very quickly. Like this. Okay, nope. Still need to get there. Okay then you would simply need to go in the middle like that and I will glue it like that 
let me do it right now before painting and before getting everything I will go once again with some resin <coughs> some more sands and then cure it it is a little less visible then I will go once painted once everything is finished like that it will close perfectly and then I will get this along here and once again this connected to a plug to a plug or to a T connector as I use it to do for my street lamps but it is the same principle the only building from the new season you will witness is this one. It's not a building, it is a small market store, but it is lighted. And it is a wood, pure wood built, okay? But it is a market store. And guys, you are wondering, will it work? Obviously, I haven't tested it, but I simply this, strip the white, strip the black, get the battery, get positive and negative, and voila, the wires are good and the LED is lighted on, lighted off. Okay, so it works. Let me cut this because I will not need it. This is ready. Well guys, this will be the last thing I will show you in this tutorial, hoping that it has been exhaustive. Okay, I will just close the super glue. So let me show you something. Let me show you what I have inside here. Inside here, I have some other things. I have some other wires that have some strange. form here guys you have this and by pure chances look at this I will close the camera you have this kind of female plug that by pure chances they get like that. Oops. With the 90 degrees wire you have just seen. And this wire with this plug, 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 have another characteristic that have some nut that can be Screw it like this, okay? Like this, like a bolt and a nut. Why I'm telling you this? Because up until now we have seen something that already had something getting like a female plug that you can use 
like that and transform battery to uh, wall plug operated sorry and uh, and like that and here also you have some I've shown you how to achieve what you want but if you have something bigger like a real building you made yourself you built yourself you 3d printed yourself because guys I know not everyone out there uh, is used to a 3d printer even if you 2024 but if you decide to 3d print something and you have just seen me with this and a quick solution to get the LED inside but if you have a bigger building and don't worry I'm not crazy what you will see now it's not a building that will appear on my 2024 village no it was supposed to appear when I made the video called 2024 preview or something like that and at the time I've talked about a section the right section of the layout dedicated to a colonial style section colonial like South America like uh, Spain that has colonized South America in this case like that always Victorian always 1800 but more towards the colonial style even if uh, uh, they weren't as Victorian as pure Victorian style but forget death I, during the last weeks, I get completely towards another direction because I'm crazy and I'm working day and night to, uh, to get the gap to close because I'm late. So, here guys, it is one of the building I have modeled and 3D printed eight of them that was supposed to populate the part of the section dedicated to colonial style and guys this is pure colonial architecture it took me <laughs> three days to model this okay don't worry about the sounds and this was pure colonial with arcs with doors, with windows, with uh, elevated uh, balconies, supported. This was pure Victorian colonial style. South America or South Africa, okay? Mm, I don't think Canada, but colonial. I know colonies are bad things. Let me remove the roof and this was supposed to be building number three it is still building number three but it will not see the light i have some doors i have some uh, windows etc but please i also had it wired <laughs> with an led there with an led there and another one is here on the second floor oops what is there how do you get inside there strange strange combination you aren't supposed to be there okay second and it will cover also the roof the balcony etc but I needed a way to get in this big building the connections inside so look guys 
this is nothing else than these wires, those wires with the plug there, put here, and you can see that are the same. So I drill a hole this time with a real power tool drill, with a power drill, then get the wire, the plug inside, obviously cut because it is too long, and then use the nut from the other side there to get the female plug there connected to the wall. And then I went with white positive green negative because white it is opposite of the black so in this case I use these colors and those are the T connectors you have seen me using in my uh, street lamp tutorial how to build a street lamp for your Christmas villages the same thing with the wire white is positive and green is negative negative. and once assembled each step each level will be connected to the second one etc to the third one etc in the same way guys okay up there and here you have the hole to get the wires from the ground level to the first level getting them through here like that okay and then connect the second level uh, led to the first level and guys let me switch back, now it is already to 3 volts, and if I take a plug, let's imagine you have the 90 degrees plug there, and you connect it there, you get the LED that switch on. You don't have switches on and off, but you I don't use them in any of my buildings, okay? But this way, if you have something 3D printed, you can get light inside very easily. With this little plug there connected to some wires. Obviously, you don't have, uh, um, sorry, rephrase it, obviously, you need to have the thickness of the wall that is inferior, it is less thick, the wall, than the screw there, than the screw there, otherwise it will not fit and you have to use some glue. But if you want to, you, to use this plug here with some nut, it, you need to, be, to pay attention. Uh, between the thickness of the wall and the thickness, the total thickness of the uh, of the of the um, uh, of the screw there. Okay, and all this plug will be present on every building I made myself for my new twenty twenty four village uh, six seven eight right now I'm at 15 buildings but I'm not finished yet okay buildings is the only thing I will do off season okay because they take me so long to do them obviously I mark everything and this is easily assembled like oops the other side like this first floor second floor and then roof these needed to be primed then painted and then are the windows and the doors and the problem here was also that i did uh, i did some mistake in choosing a building that cannot because all 
buildings I modeled have a front and a back like that. So with balconies, etc., from two sides. So the only way to put the connector, the plug was on the side and it will be too visible. But the colonial section will not be anymore, not be there anymore. So sincerely, I don't, uh, oops, I've made a mistake. This is the correct position of the roof. Yes, it is this one, but maybe in 2029, 20, in 2030, I will use those eight buildings I made, but right now, no. But it was a way to show you right now what you will see in my 2024 season village way to connect the buildings to the wall plug, to the C adapter, to have them not battery operated, but wall plug operated. That's all guys, see you for the outro. Yet another extremely long tutorial, but at least you have everything in just one single video. You have certainly noticed that there isn't a precise technique to transform a battery operated item into some more socket operated or AC adapter operated item. And this simply because it doesn't exist an item similar to another one, not in design and not even in construction method. Flexibility will always be mandatory with this kind of technique. And also you will have to be willing to damage a minimum your item during the transformation especially if you don't want or you cannot replace the damaged parts with some 3D printed ones. The only real important thing is to identify as soon as possible the positive and negative wire or the positive and negative pole and this with certainty. And it doesn't matter if the item is also equipped with some music or some movement. The technique will always remain the same. And if it is necessary to give up the original lighting simply because it is unreachable or too inaccessible for the transformation, please do not hesitate to do it. Adding your proper LED to the item and then connect it to the wall socket will always be much more easier and this it only applies to small items because in 90 percent 90 95 percent of the cases medium and large items such as buildings such as uh, tabletop attraction will come with a proper battery box or battery container and as you have just seen it is very easy to transform them just a little more than two months before the new season I need to rush up completing what is behind me it's not the village it's simply the uh, off-season preparation please and don't forget to subscribe comment and give big thumbs up Thank you for watching and thank you for bearing my English as always. See you very, very soon. Bye guys.